হ্যালো লার্নার ওয়েলকাম টু ডাব্লিউ 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 ডট মাই অনলাইন এডু ডট কমস ভিডিও টিউটোরিয়াল ইন দিস ভিডিও টিউটোরিয়াল উইল লার্ন হাউ টু প্রিন্ট দ্য অ্যাসকি টেবিল বাট ইউ রিমেম্বার দ্য দেয়ার আর ফিউ ট্রিক্স দ্যাট উইল লার্ন অলসো ইউ বেসিক্যালি উইল লার্ন অ্যাবাউট দ্য ডেটা টাইপস অ্যান্ড ওয়ান মোর ট্রিক অ্যাবাউট দ্য সি প্রোগ্রামিং টু প্রিন্ট ওয়াইল ইউ নো প্রিন্টিং দিস অ্যাসকি টেবিল ওয়াইল ইমপ্লিমেন্টিং দিস পার্টিকুলার program so let's take a look at the ascii table first so ascii table is nothing uh, but a table of you know numbers and corresponding characters so it starts from 0 to 255 and then for each and every number you know it it has a, a particular characters corresponding characters for example you know 65 represents a right so 66 similarly you know represents b you know, 32 is the ascii value which represents space so these are the things so basically you know we'll print this table from 0 to 255 and you know uh, then we'll learn two things about this particular programming so let's take a look at the program what is the first we are defining here one character variable but here we are using the data type the unsigned character what the why this is so because you know a character takes one byte data so we know that you know one byte data can store from minus 128 to plus 127 but we need to print from 0 to 255 so that is why this trick which is making it from 0 to 255 all right so what is happening over here is you know uh, if you if you do not make it unsigned char so then you will never get the range from 0 to 255 so putting the unsigned thing before the char data type is making it the range from 0 to 255 so this is one trick so that this is our trick number one and then you know we we have a for loop here so for c is equal to 0 to c less than equals to 255 and then c++ plus plus, and then we are printing this with some little bit formatting you know and the tab and this particular things is what it is doing is it is printing a new line after printing five consecutive number and character combination of the table uh, and then you know it is giving printing one new line just to make the formatting correct but here also th here comes the trick number two if you run this program this program will go go into infinite loop you can try this thing i am not running this thing just to show you the infinite loop but you can try running this so there is a problem as you can see you know there is a problem in this particular programming what is the pr problem is this goes into infinite loop why that will explain it later but just make sure that we build the fix first so what is the fix if c equals to 255 then break okay so if you build this thing and then if you run this thing so here is the table that that got printed so from zero starting from zero and the corresponding character so zero doesn't have any character so one has a smiley face as you can see two has a smiley face but everything is actually filled up so three has a heart sign you know similarly if you come down uh, below you know uh, so basically you will get that 41 has a you know the closing bracket 48 is zero 49 is one and then 50 is 2 similarly it will come down and it will print 65 as a you know 66 as b 67 as c so this is the way you know it prints till 255 so this is the ascii table so each and every character has this ascii value when it is basically printing those thing but why this thing is actually working if we don't put the line number 15 and 16 then it goes into infinite loop that is one more trick so let's discuss this trick number two which is 
basically again about the data type. So let's consider that this is not there. This is not there. So what will happen at that time? So and let's from 0 to 255, this particular loop will iterate. And when the value of C is 255, okay. So what will happen? This particular condition will get true and it will come inside this for loop and it will do this particular stuff. Imagine that this is not there, okay. So again, it will go over there and what it will do, it will increment it. So now your C becomes 256. But remember that C, since this is an unsigned care, so it can, you know, store from 0 to 255. So what happens the moment the value of the C becomes 256, it cannot store because the range is from 0 to 255. So immediately, you know, this thing will convert into the beginning value of the range, which is 0 in this case. So now, you know, immediately this C++ is making this thing to 0. So that is why, again, this condition will be true, you know, and then it will continue the loop. So this loop will continue forever for infinite time because even though you are doing a C++ and when the C is 255, C++ making it 256, but internally it is converting to 0. So the value of C becomes 0. So that is the trick number 2 that you learned. So, so be careful when you are actually dealing with the data types and also you know you are going out of range from the data type. Thank you for watching this video.